Before RAF pilots can properly handle beasts such as the F-35B Lightning and Typhoon fighter jets, they need to practice on fighter jets that are just as powerful. A fleet of 28 Hawk TMK-2 advanced jet trainers made by BAE Systems is based in Anglesey, North Wales, ready to operate as part of the UK military flying training system. Through this investment, we will continue to train our student pilots to become the best in the business," said Air Vice Marshal Ellard, Director Combat Air at DE&S, the Ministry of Defense's procurement arm defense equipment and support. Not just the Hawk T-2 training aircraft, but also the Hawk T-1 aircraft that are flown by RAF's aerobatic team, the Red Arrows, will benefit from in-service support through this investment. The main contract was awarded to BAE Systems for extensive Hawk T-2 airframe support, and a second contract was signed with Rolls-Royce for engine support. Rolls-Royce was the one who developed, together with Safran, the Adour MK951 engine that powers both the trainer jets and the aerobatic aircraft used by RAF. Described as a twin-spool, counter-rotating turbofan, the Adour can deliver a maximum thrust of 8,000 pounds. The Hawk T-2 combines a glass cockpit with advanced avionics for fast jet training. It can simulate functions of modern fighters, as well as complex scenarios such as electronic warfare operations or air-to-ground weapon drops. Before the Hawk T-2 entered service, the T-1 acted as RAF's fast jet trainer. It was then fitted with a smoke generation system, and its engine controls were modified for an enhanced throttle response, before joining the Red Arrows. D. The Hawk is operational in two very distinct variants, the Hawk TMK-1, and very similar MK-1A, and TMK-2. The latter has replaced the MK-11A in the flying training role, bringing personnel up to Fast Jet Operational Conversion Unit, OKU, input standards after they graduate from the turboprop Texan T-1. The aircraft glass cockpit and comprehensive avionics suite provide a realistic advanced fast jet training platform which, as part of the UK military flying training system, UKMFTS, meets current and future standards. It allows trainees to be immersed in more complex tactical environments, downloading training from the AUKUS onto the Hawk, which is far more economical to fly than the Typhoon or F-35. Previously the RAF's premier fast jet trainer, the Hawk T-1 now continues in service with the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, RAFIT, the Red Arrows and 100 SQN. With the former it provides an exceptional mount for formation aerobatics, and with the latter it provides all manner of target facilities and threat simulation, as well as working closely in Joint Tactical Air Controller JTAC, training. The MK-2's avionics enable simulations of many of the functions of a modern fighter, combined with an extensive mission debrief system that extracts maximum output from every sortie. Via the aircraft's data link, for example, synthetic radar returns are generated for intercept and basic fighter maneuvers training, yet no radar is fitted. The onboard simulation capability also enables air-to-ground weapon drops, realistic electronic warfare, U, training against surface-to-air missile, SAM, systems and other complex operational scenarios. In Rafat service the Hawk T-1 is modified with a smoke generation system, while minor changes to the engine controls enable a more immediate throttle response to that of the standard aircraft. In 100 SQN service the TMK-11A remains largely unchanged to its previous training incarnation, the expertise of its crews lending it unique capabilities in the adversary, target facilities and JTAC training roles. Royal Air Force Last Moon formally disbanded its No. 100 squadron at its Leeming base after its BAE Systems Hawk TMK-1 training aircraft made their final flights earlier last moon.
During the same period, the Royal Navy's 736 Naval Air Squadron at Culdras also undertook its last flights in the Hawk. The events brought an end to the iconic advanced jet trainer's 45-year career in military roles in the UK, leaving just a Royal Air Force aerobatic team, better known as the Red Arrows, flying the first-generation Hawk. The phase-out of the Hawk TMK-1 had originally been planned for 2030, but in July 2021 the UK Ministry of Defence announced that it would be retired by the end of last March 2022. The Red Arrows will continue to fly the aircraft, which they have operated since 1979, indefinitely, the retirement of squadron aircraft swelling the stocks of aircraft that can help keep the team flying. Hawker Sidley's HS.1182 design was selected as the RAF's new advanced trainer in 1971, and the first of 175 Hawk TMK-1s entered service in late 1976. A number were supplied as armed TMK-1s for tactical weapons instruction, and in the mid-1980s they were modified with the ability to carry two AIM-9L Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles for use as emergency air defenders. The MK-50 and MK-60 series aircraft were versions for overseas customers, and the Hawk achieved great success in the export market. First-generation Hawks continued to serve with a dwindling number of export users, notably Finland and Saudi Arabia. Continued overseas success was achieved with the second-generation MK-100 series and later advanced jet trainer, Hatched, increasingly advanced versions with improved avionics, modern cockpits, redesigned wings, and uprated versions of the Adour turbofan. The Hawk also spawned the MK-200 single-seat light fighter, which was sold to Indonesia, Malaysia, and Oman, and the T-45 Goshik, developed by McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing, to fulfill the U.S. Navy's needs for an advanced carrier trainer. In 2004 the RAF selected the Hawk MK-128 Adged, known in service as the Hawk TMK-2, to assume its advanced training needs, with the TMK-1 retiring from the pilot training role in 2016. However, No. 100 Squadron, which had acquired Hawks in 1991, continued to fly the type in a variety of frontline support roles, notably including aggressor training. The Navy's 736 NAS also flew the type on target facilities duties, including the mimicking of anti-ship missiles to train naval air defense operators. <laughs>